Are you back for the night, sir? Shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I Wait a minute. Killer Croc was a low threat? <laughs> what? Told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. So we can now level up. Every time you level up, you earn an upgrade point. Yay for me. Uh, usually what I do is I go for combat armor. So I think I'll do that. I'll, I'll stick with that. It's always good to upgrade your armor. I would say that's the first thing you should always upgrade. So yeah, Batcave. First time we've ever seen the Batcave in this series. It's pretty neat. And of course, Alfred this is the first time we're really seeing him in game. Uh, wow, his head's actually really oddly shaped. I never noticed that. You've got a weird head, Alfred. Get that checked out. Over here, you can uh, eventually switch your bat suits. I guess we can't do it now because we're not really prepared to do that. But here's the uh, bat computer. This is what we need to do. Assassins, sir. As in more than one. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile man. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers. The best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke. Former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you say? Garfield Lins, AKA Firefly, burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize, Copperhead. Strange, these reports reference a male, not a female. 14 escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget, not him. What the? Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot, Freeze. says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Baczynski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. Just as usual, Alfred is just a little bit smarter than Batman. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. Because if I was Batman, all I would do is just stay in all night. Like, come on. It's a very easy solution. Oh, here's the bat suit chamber, I guess. So if we want to switch our suits... I actually don't think we can right now. Like, uh... Earned costumes are available for use in challenge mode. 
Alright, so we, we have to beat the story in order to do these. So maybe when I do some uh, end game stuff, I'll switch them. These are the DLC costumes. You can unlock other costumes by uh, completing certain things. This one's awesome. The Nightfall costume is pretty cool too, but technically Batman shouldn't have that because Batman never wore that costume. That was Azrael. Sir, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. So yeah, we have fast travel points because the the map in this game is fairly big. You can get anywhere you want, really, just by kind of going around as Batman. But it, it's good to have uh, fast travel points. And the fast travel cutscenes are always where the game kind of, I don't know, messes up. There's usually audio glitches. So we're still kind of being confined into a specific area. We haven't yet unlocked the open world. This building is the only thing really standing in our way from being able to just do whatever we want. But that's okay. We'll be able to do whatever we want soon enough. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Batman. How are you? What the hell is it? Some kind of death wish? I can drop smoke bullets to conceal my movements. Hey guys, you want to see a magic trick? Now you see me. Now you don't. Get up and out of danger. Where did I go? Attacking head on is a good way to get myself shot, and probably the hostage too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. Acting out there with you? Are you crazy? So this part's actually somewhat similar to uh, that church part in City. Because it's really your introduction to silent predator things, which is cool. Let's, let's get this guy. He's just hanging around. What does it want me to use detective vision for? Ah, it wants me to go through the grate. I love uh, sliding through the grates. There's no better feeling than sliding through grates. Because it gets rid of the, the animations. Speaking of animations, this is my favorite new thing. Get over here. That is the greatest thing in the world. That is worth the $60 price of admission. Okay, I will. This was just supposed to be a service call. Fix the tower in and out. Yeah, you hide over here. You're doing a great job. And there's no other way out of here other than uh, through here. But seriously, how great is that great takedown? That is seriously the greatest thing in the world. I'm saying great a lot. This is pretty great too, but not as good as the great takedown. Cause Batman just freaks out when he when he does the great takedown. I can I can fix the tower. Whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. I don't know if that thing said sake or sake. I don't, I don't know. I couldn't go through that door, could I? No, I don't. I hate when the game tells you exactly what to do. And that guy is dead now. The music in this game is probably the best in the series. It, def it definitely is. This part's pretty cool. I don't think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. And I should start by identifying the victim. So there's a lot of uh, crime scene stuff, and it's really great. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of the game, too. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. And right now we're being, uh, we're doing more detectiving than the Christopher Nolan Batman ever did. Just in this one scene. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. 
So we can rewind and uh, fast forward through specific things, which I think is cool. So we could do whatever we want there. It's it pretty looks cool. Like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired, and it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. You could see it in there, but we need to uh, actually re uh, relook at the crime scene, and then Batman will notice it then, even though he just looked at it. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. This has to be a record. I just now noticed. Look at Batman's cape. It's already messed up. But I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. It's right there, Batman. Look, you can see it. Oh, yeah, gotta look at that line there. I can clearly see that it's in there, Batman. Oh, why didn't I just slide into this one? This takes too long, Batman. Get quicker removing grates. Oh, I, I have to look at it. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. And another staple of the series, the cryptographic sequencer, is in fact in this game as well. Which is cool. Although, I, I feel like you don't really use it that much in this game. Which is, I guess, unfortunate. Here's another ladder, let's go up it backwards. Oh, what? I guess that was a double-sided ladder. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Wait, which way do we want to go? Yeah, it's in here. This door is pretty much, just gameplay-wise, it's just a big grate. And now let's just hack this. Well, well, if it isn't the king thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. So, the Riddler is back in this game. Hmm, Black Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the Batwing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. <laughs>